Namaste and a very, very good morning to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Mithun, and in today's presentation, we'll be looking at the difference between KS test and SW test. When I say KS, I'm referring to Kolmogorov Smirnov test. And when I say SW, I'm re referring to Shapiro Wilk test. So, what is the difference between Kolmogorov Smirnov test and Shapiro Wilk test? Both of these tests are used to check whether the distribution follows normality or not. When do I use the KS test? When do I use the SW test? That is the question. Now, to answer this question, let me just use a data set which is called as employee data set. I will be choosing the file menu. Let me click on the second option, open. Here, let me click on the very first item, data. It takes me to a folder which is called as English. There are many files here. I will choose the file employee data set. As you can see here, there are a lot of uh, variables in this particular data set. I've got variables like ID, gender, birth date, education level, job category, salary, beginning salary, job time, previous experience, minority community or not. If I look at the sample size in this data set, I've got a healthy sample size uh, in this data set. The sample size of this data is 474. So 474 employees have given their uh, information, employee details, and we will be looking at whether a particular variable follows normal distribution or not. Let me choose the variable salary to perform the KS test. What we can do is we can click on the analyze menu. The very second option here is descriptive statistics. Once you click on descriptive statistics, it shows a wide variety of options. I will choose the third option here called as explore. The explore dialog box opens and you can see here a lot of variables being displayed. I will choose the variable current salary along the dependent list. Once this is done, the next option that we have is either you can click on statistics but I don't see anything uh, useful here. So let me choose the option plots. And within the plots tab, tab, you can notice normality plots with tests. So if you want to produce the KS test and the SW test results, please click on normality plots with tests. Click on continue and then choose OK. In the output window, SPSS produces a lot of results. I'm not interested in all of these things. I will just click on the option test of normality. So for this video, I'm mainly focused on the test of normality. And you can see here the results of two statistical tests. The first being Kolmogorov Smirnov test, and the second one being SW or Shapiro Wilk test. Now, how do we interpret the results of KS test? Simply put, we have to understand what is the null hypothesis here. The null hypothesis in this case is that the variable current salary follows normal distribution. I repeat, the variable current salary follows normal distribution. And the alternative here is that this particular variable does not follow normal distribution. Now, which of these hypotheses do I need to choose? To answer this question, we have to focus on the p-value or the probability value. The p-value that is being reported here is 0 0.000. So since the p-value is less than 0 0.05, we always compare the p-value with the level of significance. The level of significance here is 0 0.05. Since the p-value is less than 0 0.05, we reject our null hypothesis and come to the conclusion that the variable current salary is not normally distributed. I repeat, the variable current salary is not normally distributed. If you look at 
Shapiro Wilk test. It produces the statistic and the degrees of freedom. It also reports the significance value. Here, regardless of whether I choose the Shapiro Wilk or KS test, I'm getting a similar p value. In both of these cases, that is KS test as well as SW test, the null hypothesis remains the same. What is the null hypothesis? The null hypothesis is that the variable current salary is normally distributed. And since the p-value is smaller than 0 0.05, I can go ahead and conclude that this variable is not normally distributed. In this specific case, SW test and KS test are producing consistent results. But one question that is often asked is, when do I use the KS test and when do I use the SW test? As a rule of thumb, please remember that SW test is used and it performs better when the sample size is small. And KS test is used for large samples. The second question is, define a large sample and define a small sample. There are no easy answers here, but as a thumb rule, you can say that you can go and use Shapiro Wilk test when the sample size is less than 50. On the other hand, if the sample size is bigger than 50, if it is greater than 50, you can go ahead and use the Kolmogorov Smirnov test. In this case, the data set has 474 records. The sample size in my data set is 474. And the samples uh, and the Threshold here is 50. So since I've got 474 records, I will be using the KS test to check whether or not the variable follows normal distribution. For the purposes of demonstration, I've just chosen one variable. You can always feel free to include as many variables as possible. In case you want to include several variables in one shot, you can go to the analyze menu, then click on descriptive statistics and choose the option explore. Let me choose beginning salary, months since hire, and previous experience. I'm going to study all these four variables and evaluate which of these four variables follows normal distribution. Let me click on the option OK. I'm seeing a lot of plots and such things being shown. But the purpose of this demonstration is not to speak about the different plots like PP plot and QQ plot. Let me go straight to the normal normality test. You can see here, we are looking at the tests of normality. And here we have the KS test. Current salary, the P value is less than 0 0.05. So it is definitely not normally distributed. Let me look at the second variable, beginning salary. The p-value is less than 0 0.05. So the variable beginning salary is also not normally distributed. The third variable, months since higher, I see a p-value of 0 0.000, which is less than 0 0.05. And hence, I come to the conclusion that the variable months since higher is not normally distributed. The same story holds good even for previous experience because I'm getting a p-value of smaller than 0 0.05, I can conclude that all the four variables are not normally distributed. So this is how we can use statistical tests like KS test and SW test to check whether or not the distribution is normal. If you, are, if you have used SAS, there you get a test which is called as Anderson-Darling test. Many people use Anderson-Darling test to check whether or not the distribution follows normal. Here in SPSS, SPSS offers two tests, KS test and Shapiro-Wilk test. We can choose either KS or Shapiro-Wilk depending upon what is the sample size in the data set. With this, I have come to the end of today's presentation. I thank you very much for watching today's presentation. I request you to subscribe and uh, like my channel. Thank you very much. Have a great day.